up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School out here at Train and Learn 2023, standing here with Anthony from Tactical Life. Uh, these guys have been supporting this event from day one. Um, I think the second event is when y'all were actually able to start attending and stuff. So it, it's great to have companies like this to support things like this. And then we get great toys to play with. We get to see a lot of the stuff that they're getting ready to come out with. I know for y'all, the big thing that got y'all going was the takedown. The takedown was that. Because I remember when I first saw that video, and I'm like, wait, you're telling me I can take this and fold it to this and get it in a bat? I was like, man, that was it was phenomenal to see that. Then to be able to actually get my hands on it and run it was just a great, great experience. And... I know you've got y'all working on a full size. Yep, we got the full size and that as well too, and then some extra integrally suppressive uh, stuff. So this is now our full size uh, rifle. It's clear. Um, so basically, what we wanted to do is we had the small little pistol. Right. Great. Uh, other people reached out and wanted to get more of a longer option or a regular rifle, and just be able to simply change the caliber of the gun they already have. You know, just take it off, put a 300 blackout on, or maybe a 300 blackout integrally suppressed. You know. So if you're really going to change it, change it and make it quiet. Right? So this particular version, like this, is an SBR. We can do it with a pin. You know, we can make it a rifle suppressed where it's a one stamp thing uh, or just a regular you know back to the other one and just add a suppressor on top you know the best part about this platform is you can do whatever you want you can have short long you know small bullet big bullet you know i think there's probably what five calibers you could do just without even changing the bulkhead group on this so you know versatility is there it's a good option for people that want to have maybe one platform with different options right or or they don't quite have the funds to be able to have five different guns exactly yeah. now you're getting one gun yep. and you can do five different options exactly. so that that's absolutely phenomenal it's been great to see the, the growth process y'all have had. And I'm curious how much of this event has kind of helped out with that. Oh, it helps out great. I mean, well, other than hanging out with great people, having a great time, right? you get to hear a lot of feedback. Thank people you. using the guns, right. using the suppressor, and running them and trying to break them. And, you know, we've even broken stuff before, which is great because now we know we're to make it stronger, exactly. how to make it better. We get real feedback. Right, because you know I mean? we don't want you to be like, oh, it's the best shit ever. You know, this, that, and everything. No, tell me what the problem is. You know what I mean? Tell me what, so we can figure out a solution to make it better, keep improving the quality of the gun. If I remember correctly, this is your 10th year. Yeah, we just hit 10 years in business. So what got you started to go and say, hey, we're going to start making a lot so I've always been around it. I've always grew up shooting, uh, enjoying shooting sports competitively when I was a little older. My family was all military. My uncle worked for Colt, actually. And uh, you know, so we actually, I just always been around it and fascinated with it and enjoyed it. So just the passion for the industry alone and having fun Want, made me want to be in it somewhere or another. I was actually in the automotive industry for 20 years doing that. My dad was an automotive guy. You know, everybody else in the family was like military or whatnot. And uh, I just, you know, it was cool. I loved it. But this was the passion. You know? Right, just right. You never work a day in your life. Exactly. If you're doing what you, you love. you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. And this, I tell everybody. This is that. work for me, which is right. <laughs> it's great. It's so. Exactly. I mean, who, how many people can say this is my office? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I got to fly to Missouri and shoot guns with my friends yeah. oh. it's like wait twist my arm, twist yeah. my arm. Ow. Ow. So, so no it's I, I again i greatly appreciate all the support i love the products y'all have just being able to come out put hands on and be able to see man this is really good I'm always on your website, like, just oh, looking through, like, if they've done something new, if they've done right. something new. And actually, we just, speaking of the website, we're now uh, so converted over to tacticallife.com. You can still go to tacticallife.net, it'll forward you to our .com, but we revamped the website. We have a ton more products. Uh, where we have our products should be up on the website, probably by the time the video is going to come out. So, awesome. Not only rifles, they do suppressors. Yep, so we do some suppressors as well. Let me just put this in. All right. As I knock one of them over. So this is our handgun suppressor. This is our 9mm. We do it in 9 and 45 in this particular model. 
Uh, actually, here's the 45 right there on one of our 45 lowers that we just started uh, messing with as well. So these are great, very lightweight. They work on carbine or a pistol. And it's, a, it's a very good suppression, very light. You don't feel it hanging off like some of the bigger, heavier suppressors that may be a hair quieter, but you really can't tell. You know, the tones, the, the things that you, you, you hear when you have these big bulky ones, in my opinion, outweigh the big bulky heavy suppressor. So you don't necessarily have to go big and, and bulky to get good sound suppression. So I feel like these are a little bit more of a benefit for both carbine and pistol. Um, we started playing around with some five little that, yes, cool. I love that thing, man. When you showed that yesterday, I was like, yeah. that is too cool right there. So I was actually a little bit impressed with this, too, because we were just playing around I with this, you know, seeing if it would feasibility. We call it the schnossage. So, um, Rob from Rob's Guns actually just put this on his Ruger Precision, 16-inch. with the, He had a Ruger Titanium, uh, the silent SR suppressor. It's double the size of this. And this performed just as good as that. Wow. You know, both titanium, titanium, two baffles with a little black chamber. Obviously, with sub rounds on a longer barrel, or even he was running the super, so I was actually kind of impressed. But this actually performed well, very well. Better for longer barrels, snappy on smaller stuff, but to maybe take the edge off. But, exactly. you know, pretty cool. I mean, we, we're probably going to roll into some production with this now that nice. we got some feedback, different guns. And stuff. Exactly. And not just the manufacturing of firearms. Y'all do custom stuff, mm -hmm. Cerakoting. Yep. So actually, we not only custom cut and Cerakoted Jen from Pivotal Defense, uh, we did her, her pistol, and we actually yes, did... Yes, let, let's show the rifle, because yeah. I've heard stories about the rifle and uh, the uh, Cerakoting on the inside. Oh, yeah, that was that's where the gray hairs came from on this side of the beard. So that was fun, and it was actually, I believe it was my idea. I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to do the inside, because she wanted accents. You know, she loves blue, right? and we did the Tiffany Robin Eggs Blue, uh, you know, did some tape lines, customizations, you know, subtle, but, you know, sleek. And uh, we have our, our suppressor that goes on as well, simply just drops on and twists on using the dead air chemo. So, um, but yeah, this was fun, and this is what we like doing. I've yeah. always loved the customization, the making it personal. That's really what I love to do. I, I know when I was talking to Clayton with Pivotal Defense, he was telling me about it and what y'all were going to do to it, and I was like, I can't wait to see this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get a I get a picture message and I pull it up and I was like, man, that that is just that looks great, looks absolutely. But I, we got to talking later that day and he was like, yeah, Anthony doesn't really like me too much. Oh, <laughs> we love we love you, It's good to see the the versatility that the company has. You know, a lot of people think, all right, well they just name no, they do way more than that, way way more than that. So. If I had an idea for a certain rifle, I could call you up and talk to you and get something that could actually come to an actual platform. So this is a great, great company. These guys are absolutely phenomenal. They're awesome to be around. If I have questions, I know who I can reach out to and stuff. If I've got something I want to do or add, I mean, it's just been absolutely great. And I love, I've always loved shooting y'all's products. Like I said, I've, I've already got some that I've been eyeing, so especially especially this full-time takedown. I was, when you picked that out yesterday, I was like, how do I explain this? Well, hello. And then, then I started thinking, what I tell everybody, ask for forgiveness, not permission. I have to edit that out. <laughs> You're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> uh, these should be available probably third quarter. Okay. We're looking to go into full production with them. We had a little bit of a hiccup with some of our handguards, which really kind of put a dent in our, uh, our gap in our production for those. And obviously the pistol brace thing kind of changed the configuration of the seven and a half, which was our original. So. Uh, we should be in full production with those quite soon. Can we talk about the 5.7? Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is something we've been playing with. Obviously, you've seen a lot of 5.7 going around lately with different nice. platforms. We've actually been working on this for quite some time. So, you know, we're jumping into the 5.7 theme stuff. And 5.7 came down a little, which is good. And hopefully it keeps on that trend, you know. These little, little blue boxes of 
expect some of this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it's a great round. Uh, it you is. You know what I mean? It really, it really is a great is. round. Not and believe it or not, we actually shot it with the little snotches. This one goes right on there. And no I was actually surprised. We ran it wet in the warehouse. And it was like, wow, you know what I mean? That's and then crazy. we shot it out here. It takes the edge off, once again, short barrel, 5.7. But uh, the can held up great. But this is cool, and it's also using the new uh, short buffer system. This is called yes. the can drop. Yes. Yeah, very, very cool, very short. You know, this is a radial delay blowback. So we're actually using the CMMG barrel and bolt, as well as their mag. So good technology, proven technology. Yes. Where we benefit, even though we're using their system, the barrel and blowback, the price point. Our price point comes in a lot less than a lot of these other ones. Awesome. And you know, it's super lightweight. It's really it's really nice. And uh it shoots amazing. Yes. I I, I wish here shortly we I'm I'm gonna be out there and gonna be running some of these. So I'm excited especially this is for that one. So yeah, this one's cool. If, if you've been thinking about a five seven, hey look they, they've got options. They've got tons and tons of options. So this is definitely a company you wanna check out. And Something I want to ask, something I always ask everybody out here. What do you think about Train and Learn? Because I know y'all have been supporting it since day one, but you've been, this is your third year here, correct? Fourth, well, third year here, fourth year. Fourth year supporting here since the beginning, yeah. So how do you feel Train and Learn is for someone, or what would you say for someone in this industry about Train and Learn? I would say if you're not here, you're missing out. For exactly. sure. Exactly. You're missing out on great training, yeah. learning from premier instructors to give you a better way to either, even if you're coming out here for fun, right. you're learning something new just for fun. If you're an instructor or in the business, you're learning a new way to teach, new things, exactly. new techniques. Uh, networking is crazy. I mean, we're, we're next to the hell. Mantis, Primer, and us businesses, we're all working together. And we're and it's one thing where you can come and actually put hands on the product, yeah. step out there and run around through it. And basically test stuff that nobody else even got a chance to see yet. Exactly. You know? so exactly. How cool is that? I mean, even primary yeah, armor. Brownells is bringing, they have their Bryn upper, you know, it's like it's great stuff. You get to try and see and touch and before a lot of times the general public. And for sure with us, because we always bring something new out. No, that's, that's definitely. That is definitely. There's always been something new, and that's what I was telling KD. Every year has been a step up. Every year has been a step up. We've always got different instructors. It's not the same content. It's not the same instructors. That's that's what I love about it. So again, if you're whether you're a manufacturer, instructor, influencer, or whatever, this is where you want to be. It puts you in touch with people like this, so you can get things like that done. Because who knows if Clayton would have never came, would he be sitting there with that in his exactly, house yeah. today? Exactly. So it's been absolutely phenomenal. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me and let me share with everybody what all y'all offer, so they can see. Uh, tacticallife.com, correct? Yep. Uh, tactical underscore life for Instagram. I'll also have this down in the description as well so you know where to go and get in touch with these guys. <laughs> Always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.